welcome to today's vlog. I just got home from working out, took a shower, drinking a juice, drinking my water, and I got some packages that I wanted to open up and show you guys because I'm very excited about them. Two are PR and then two are purchases that I made. So let's start off with the PR ones. I am very excited about this one. It is from Briogeo. They sent over their new Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Conditioner. Cool. I've never tried out their products before, but they sent shampoo as well, deep conditioning mask, and a strengthening treatment oil. These are the things that I need so badly. If you guys are wondering why my hair looks darker than the last time you saw it, it is because... I dyed it again. What we used last time was just a toner and it literally washed out after two washes. So we decided to go in with an actual like color and we left it on a tad bit too long. So it's a little dark, but I still really like it. It's going to lighten up anyways. So since I dyed it again, I definitely need those products. Next thing, we got some things from Nasty Gal, which I'm very excited for these because I've never gotten anything from Nasty Gal before. But if you guys saw my last vlog, then you would have seen this little set. This is the top, and then it just has long, flowy bottoms. Next is this cream pair of pants that I was in dire need of because I just wear jeans way too often so I wanted something just to, like switch it up. These are pretty long. They're a little loose and I just really like the fit of them so we got those. I also got another set which I wore yesterday so it's in the wash but I'll put a picture up on the screen of me wearing it. It is so amazing. This color, I have just been obsessed with it. Next is this little satin button up top. I love, love these pieces because they're such statement pieces that you could wear over such simple outfits and it just like jazzes it up a little bit. Lastly, got this little flannel. I don't even... I don't even really wear flannels but again just liked the colors and I thought it was a great just everyday piece great for layering as well now let's get into the pieces that I bought first one is pretty little things I rarely shop from them but my friend Caitlin posted a picture wearing these jeans and I went immediately to the site and bought them oh like what this is what they look like and they have a little slit at the bottom. I love this slit because a lot of slits in jeans or just pants are very large and like go up to here and like I don't need you guys to really see my ankle. I don't need you to see it. I just need a little flare so you could see like the shoes I'm wearing but you don't need to see my whole calf like that's just not necessary. These just feel like amazing like great quality. I am so excited to try these on. Pretty little thing. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Last package. I've been wanting these for so long and I ordered them about a month ago. They're finally here. I got another pair of custom Converse. Fair warning, you guys need to prepare yourselves for a second because... Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh yeah that's right there she is okay ray these are so gorgeous oh my goodness this color is amazing and these actually came at the perfect time because i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my updated matcha latte recipe today it's been a while since we've gone through the whole process together i've shared with you everything that i use and i've definitely changed up some things since the last time i shared you my recipe these shoes just remind me of matcha. So we're going to put an outfit together with the shoes, most likely the jeans as well. I'm going to get ready and then we'll get to making our matcha. I just got done getting ready. The jeans did not fit. Did not fit at all. So I'm going to have to return those and get a size up. So if you guys do like those jeans, I recommend sizing up because I'm usually a size 6. But they did not. They did not fit at all. But we have the outfit on now. My top is Revolve Lovers and Friends. Then we got the famous Zara jeans on with the Converse. They match so perfect with this top. My favorite shoes to wear with these jeans are my high top Converse. I just think they look the best. And now it's time. Let's get all of our ingredients out. This is the matcha that I've been using. It is 
goldy pure matcha you want to make sure that your matcha is ceremonial grade there is ceremonial grade and then cooking grade i've heard people use either one but this one is the best for drinking i've tried out a bunch of different matchas i haven't really found one that i like hated some are just a little more bitter than others but this one is my current favorite i will link them down below for you guys along with a couple other ones that i liked also i keep my matcha in the fridge i don't know if that makes it last longer i've tried to do research on it i haven't really found any like solid evidence but i like to keep it in there i it makes sense it makes sense to me you're gonna need your matcha measuring spoons and a sifter and some water i just like turn on the hot water on the sink and get two tablespoons of that and you want to make sure the water is pretty warm get our little sifter i love this little cup i think i got it from hobby lobby but it's just like the perfect size for this step you're gonna get your sifter the matcha and i like to use about a teaspoon you could do a little more a little less whatever whatever you want if it's like later in the day sometimes i'll do like half a teaspoon however much your heart desires but i usually use a teaspoon now it is time for the star of the show this is my matcha whisk from david's tea it looks like a milk frother it's basically the same thing but instead of being metal it is plastic this is literally all you need to whisk up your matcha and it is so fast and so easy so you just whisk up the matcha and until it is nice and frothy and most likely like 30 seconds to a minute we're gonna get out our preferred matcha glass of the day I'm gonna get my little beer can glasses from Amazon some ice that was kind of dramatic I like that now you're gonna pour your matcha over the ice my new favorite oat milk every time I show you guys a recipe it's always a new milk that I'm using but as of right now, this is the best oat milk that I've used for my lattes. It is so delicious. It is nice and thick, which we like. We're going to put a little bit of milk in there. Yum. I rinsed out the little glass we made our matcha in. And we're going to put a little bit more milk. Now for sweetener, I really like vanilla in my matcha. I feel like it just complements it very well. And I either use this vanilla oat creamer from Sewn or just a vanilla syrup. I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use vanilla syrup today. I don't know. I just feel like it. And I feel like you guys will be able to find this one easier than that creamer. Just put a little syrup in there and some cinnamon i literally have nothing left in here and whisk it up now it's time Ooh, oh my gosh perfect amount get your glass straw these are also from amazon and delicious that is my at-home matcha look how cute she is obviously this is just how i like to drink it you can add more sweetener if you want you can do more matcha um it really is just like up to you but if you are like totally lost on how to make matchas at home hopefully this was helpful and you guys know like what tools you can get kind of like a little starter kit little beginner's guide but yeah we love our matcha Say hi to the people. They haven't even seen you today. Do you want your treat of the day? I could give you a little treat. Oh. <laughs> well, look. Just got here. Ethan just picked up all of the matcha pre-orders today from being embroidered. So they're all done. This is my job tomorrow and this weekend to package everything up and get it all shipped out to you guys so if i'm a little ma this weekend you guys know why i'm trying to get these things out asap but we just ordered some lazy dog ethan's here i'm thinking of doing a little mukbang segment in the vlog i've not filmed like a whole mukbang video in a while i want to but for now let's just do a little mini one. Oh yeah oh yeah Oh, yeah. Hey. Tastes nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. 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 Mm.
Hey. Mm -hmm. I didn't say you could do that. I didn't say you could do that. Just kidding. Guys, Ethan hasn't asked me to be his Valentine yet. Mm. I told him. When you were when you date, you don't got to do that because you're ready. <laughs> okay. You're ready automatically. Okay. Valentine. We didn't agree with that. I didn't know. I, agreed with I it. didn't know that when I said yes to being I'm your girlfriend, that, that was in the kidding. terms and conditions. I didn't think so. It's coming up. So. This is what I get from Lazy Dog. I get their lettuce wraps. They're delicious. What does that smell? That's the Brussels sprouts. Ooh. You get their um. It's not bad. Brussels it's just strong. sprouts. It's their appetizer. They're so Ooh, good. They're strong. I'm a burger. Ooh, look at that. Oh. oh ho, ho. I took a bite out of it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yes, we are eating on my bed. Don't hate. Don't don't hate. <laughs> don't hate on it. You know you do it too. So when are you gonna ask me to be a Valentine? Hey, relax. I'm working on it. Mm, okay, it's all in here. It's all in here. She asks me every day, five times. <laughs> Guys, key to relationship is communication. I feel like this is only me in this shot. Move over. You have to communicate your feelings. You have to tell your significant other what you want. You can't just expect him to ask you to be your Valentine when you want to be asked. Mm -hmm. Maybe he doesn't know that you want him to do that. So you have to tell him. I'm just making it obvious. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to let you know. Okay. Thank you. Just a, just a heads up. Just a heads up. Here you go. Thanks, my love. Cheers. Cheers. I got the Italian blood orange soda from Trader Joe's. And then I mix it with a little bit of Perrier. You drink it in a wine glass because we're fancy. We're fancy. Pinkies up. Pinkies up. <laughs> Are you in the father and the son yeah. and the Holy Yeah, that's Spirit. what they do. And he's like. No, I don't know. Wait, what did they do? They, they, they have you go like it. that? Yeah. No, but don't they, don't yeah. they give it so to you? So we go like this and then we go like. Wait, really? I can't remember if they actually hand it to you or they they pour it in your, in your mouth. Can you guys believe that when they gave the wine, all they did was just wipe it yeah, down with a gross. towel? That's gross. Can you believe they did that? You know what I think is the most disgusting thing we did? What? Bowling. <laughs> Bowling is gross and disgusting. Bowling is gross. And then you touch the, you put your fingers in the in the holes in the balls, yeah. and then tons and tons of people touch them, and then you go and you eat your fries, yeah, you eat your chicken wings, that's you touch so your phone, true. you touch your face. That's, that's nasty. So true. Bowling's gross. roller the other day it is from kits kits I don't really know how to pronounce it but I love this thing I just keep it in the freezer so it's nice and cold and it's supposed to be good for like deep puffing or something like that I don't know I just like the way that it feels a great way to end my night like de-stress that is it for today's vlog you guys i hope that you enjoyed watching thanks for hanging out with me today um come here kid come here for the outro if you guys like today's video please give it a thumbs up comment down below anything you would like follow me on all my social medias and um i'll see you guys in my next video bye